pot roast is probably my favorite thing to have on a Sunday as a Sunday meal. It's delicious and it's wonderful and that's all you can say about it really. And this one's easy to make. It starts with four onion halves that you're going to brown in a Dutch oven over medium high heat. And you're also going to chop up some carrots like I'm doing here. Preheat your oven to 275 degrees as well. You're going to bake this at the end. So we'll just take out the onions that have been browning for a good three to five minutes or so. It just makes them pretty. And we'll drop the carrots and do the exact same thing to them. When I was a kid, this used to be the meal that my mom would take me to on Sundays at my grandparents' house. We'd leave church, go eat this. My grandmother made it with rice and it was just the best thing ever. I was in heaven during that day. So I'm adding some olive oil to these carrots now. This really just adds some heat to the pan itself and it cooks them faster. That is steam, not smoke, calm down. Our meat is just a chuck roast. And we'll put some salt and pepper on it. The pepper has garlic powder and seasoned salt in it completely optional, but they add an extra layer of flavor. So I'm taking my carrots up now, and I'll set them aside on the plate with the onions. And look, they're friends now. So to brown the meat, you simply press it into the bottom of your pan like I'm doing here. You'll brown it on both sides for two to three minutes per side. Press it again because you're OCD. And then flip it. It's at this point that your family and yourself are going to be starving because this just smells amazing. Remove it from the pan. Now I'm pouring in two cups of beef broth. You can use low sodium and that's probably the best because you're going to add some salt later. And return the meat to the pan. There's, there's a method known as deglazing. You keep your pot super, super hot and then pour the beef broth in there. I didn't do that because I wanted all the flavor at the bottom that stuck to cook onto the meat instead of into the water. And look how pretty the onions are. Just add your veggies in there. I also added a can of diced tomatoes. Add a pinch of salt. Now I added two cups of beef broth by making my own with two bouillon cubes and two cups of hot water. You don't have to, again it's optional, but be advised that some of the liquid will cook out of your pot as it cooks in the oven. So you'll just let this kind of cook and simmer up and get nice and ready to go. Pop the lid on and put it in your oven. Leave it in there for about two to four hours at 275 degrees again. And then take it out. Now the trick to this is sometimes it'll fall apart and sometimes it won't like it did here. Either way is fine, it's still delicious, period, end of story. Serve this with baked macaroni and cheese or green beans or whatever side you want and you've got a meal your whole family will simply enjoy.